Even though Franciscans have been around for more than 800 years, it seems that a lot of people are still a little confused as to who or what we are. While most often confused with a monk, an honest mistake, especially for those who have never met one before, every once in a while I get a really bizarre question. Are you a Jedi? No, Jedi aren't real. Since there seems to be a lot of confusion surrounding this issue, maybe a refresher course is in order. What's the difference between a friar, a monk, and a Jedi? This is Catholicism in Focus. On the surface, friars, monks, and Jedi might easily be confused with one another. They all live an ascetic lifestyle founded on religion, are seen as wisdom figures in their respective cultures, and of course, they all wear baggy clothing with hoods. As we dig a little below the surface though, we see that these three ways of life are starkly different from one another. We can begin with the name itself. While some might use friar, monk, and maybe even Jedi as interchangeable terms, their origins reveal fundamental differences in identity. The word friar, often mistakenly taken to be synonymous with father or priest, actually comes from the French word frère, which comes from the Latin word frater, meaning brother. Like the nursery rhyme Frère Jacques, Brother John, friars are a community of brothers coming in the form of Franciscan, Dominican, Carmelite, and Augustinian, to name a few. The word monk, on the other hand, doesn't describe a relationship as it does a lifestyle. From the Old English word munuk, which comes from the Greek monakos, it means solitary or alone. Monks live and pray in solitude, either in their cells or out in the wilderness as hermits. The word Jedi, much different from the other two, describes neither a relationship nor a lifestyle, but a mindset or goal. From the Dai Bendu word of mystic center, a Jedi is one who seeks the harmony of balance to maintain a peaceful world. But I'm sure you already knew that. Who doesn't know Dai Bendu? Of course, these three are different in more than just name. They're also different in where they live, what they do, what they believe, and how they dress. One of the easiest ways to differentiate between a friar monk and a Jedi is by location. Friars are mendicants, meaning that they live and work in the world, traveling from place to place. Monks, on the other hand, are monastic, meaning that they live stable lives committed to one place, usually a monastery. And Jedi, well, they live in a galaxy far, far away. So if you see someone in a long robe out on the street, it's likely a friar. If you're in a monastery, it's likely a monk. And if you're traveling the universe in a time machine, it's probably a Jedi. This is not a foolproof method, however. As friars can go to monasteries, monks occasionally go out into the world, and Jedi, I guess, are just as likely to be anywhere else. Another way to distinguish these three, then, is by what they're doing. Friars, particularly Franciscans, do not have a particular apostolate they must attend to, but are simply called to live the gospel. You might see them preaching in churches, teaching in schools, or caring for the poor at a soup kitchen. Monks, on the other hand, live by the mantra ora et labora, meaning prayer and work, and will most likely be found praying, as they do that seven or eight times a day, or doing some form of manual labor around the monastery. Jedi, once again the outlier, have the task of bringing peace and order to the galaxy, so are the only ones you'll find flying in spaceships, protecting queens from blasters, and killing bad guys with lightsabers. My guess is that it's probably not too difficult to determine which is which in this case. If you get a chance to talk with the person in question, you might have an opportunity to find out what they believe, another distinguishing characteristic. Although friars and monks share the same underlying religion, Christianity, they propose different spiritualities as to how it's to be lived out. Franciscan friars, for example, seek holiness through attention to humility before all of creation and joyful fraternal life with all the sons and daughters of God, whereas monks, seeing nothing greater than the pursuit of God, commit their entire lives to disciplined and stable prayer around a wisdom figure chosen to lead the community. Jedi, having never heard of Christianity, believe in what is called the Force, an energy field that connects all living things in the galaxy that certain people can use, manipulate, or learn from. Jedi, being Force-sensitive, follow the Jedi Code, which consists of five axioms. Peace over emotion, knowledge over ignorance, serenity over passion, harmony over chaos, and the Force over death. In this way, friars and monks can be said to follow a religion proper, while Jedi more so follow a philosophy or code of ethics. But let's say you don't have a chance to speak with them, you have no idea what their job is, and you just see someone in a long robe looking thing walking down the street. Can you tell a difference simply by looking at them? Yeah, in fact, we kind of look completely different. I would have opened with that, but then the other points wouldn't have seemed as interesting. We'll start with monks. Although variations depend on the specific monastery, most habits for monks have a few common elements. 
There's the tunic or base layer of garment that covers the whole body. This tunic is held together by a leather belt around the waist and covered with a scapular or a shoulder width apron that extends from the knees to the back hem of the tunic. During certain ceremonial times, they may also add a large, usually white outer gown called a cowl. Friars, in this case Franciscans, came about in the 13th century as a reaction to the stability and comfort of monasteries, and desiring to travel easily, adopted a much simpler habit. Consisting of only two parts, the Franciscan habit is simply a tunic, with or without a detachable hood, and a rope with three knots, signifying the three vows. Many friars wear sandals, and some have added a rosary, but neither are required. The most complicated attire certainly belongs to Jedi, which are complete with under tunic and over tunic, outer robe with a deep hood and wide sleeves, loose fitting trousers, a tabard, leather boots, and a broad sash or belt to, you know, hold their lightsaber and other gadgets. Interestingly enough, the Star Wars universe also has monks aside from the Jedi, and the Jedi robes make it so that they're often confused with monks. So it looks like we do have that in common with them. You can almost hear Obi-Wan Kenobi for the thousandth time saying, well, we're sort of like monks, but actually we're kind of, nah, he probably just used a Jedi mind trick. I wish I could do that. Well, this video has digressed. Back to the incredibly important task at hand, we find that while certainly similar in casual understanding, the more we learn about friars, monks, and Jedi, the more we wonder how anyone can confuse the three. From the place of residence to daily life, central beliefs to attire, what we find are three distinct groups of people that provide something great for the universe, and yet have very little in common with one another. I may never know why people ask me if I'm a Jedi, but I never complain when they do. Every question is just an opportunity for me to talk about why I do what I do, and I never get tired of talking about Jesus. Thanks for watching this episode of Catholicism in Focus. Unfortunately, this is the last episode for the season, but be sure to check back January 29th for new episodes. I also want to thank all of you who supported this channel throughout this year. May God bless you. Would you consider offering a seasonal gift to Breaky in the Habit Media? Besides providing for the resources necessary to produce videos every week, your money goes towards the advertising necessary to spread the gospel online, to travel to conferences and speaking engagements, and soon will be used to provide as many free copies of my new book as I can to parishes, teachers, and vocation directors around the country. Thank you, and may the force be with you.